Hello, welcome back. I'm the Game Beaver, and this is, um, yeah, Dress Park. I can't dress park below. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Hello, welcome back, I'm the Game Beaver, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Park Builder. That's right, not too long after I said I swore off and I was like, yep, that's it, I've done everything that I can do uh, with the series has been done. They decide to add new creatures and, of course, the very controversial card packs. And a lot of you are wanting to see my true opinions on said card packs and ideas. Uh, so basically... Um, there is two new Jurassic creatures, which is Dreadnoughtosaurus, which is awesome because Dread Dreadnoughtosaurus was a pretty, uh, I think it's Dreadnoughtosaurus, it's definitely Dreadnought, uh, was a new sauropod discovered not too long ago that actually rivaled Argentinosaurus as the largest sauropod to ever exist. Uh, there is also the Utah Raptor, uh, for the Jurassic, for the Aquatic, I'm pretty sure it's Shantang Shantungosaurus, which is that long ichthyosaur, which is awesome because I loved Shunosaurus, absolutely loved its design, um, and its animation was, I think, yeah, it was a scaled up one of Ophthalmosaur, but it looked unique for me. And also a certain fish, which is really cool. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna be the Kool-Aid animation, it's got that sort of body. But, for the for the Glacier, which is really weird, uh, we have some sort of like Entelodon evolution, but we have Arthropleura, I think it is? That's the, um, Millipede from, uh, Walking with Monsters, I think was the series that, that one I remember it from. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at these card packs and hopefully get these new creatures. I can't guarantee anything because I have no idea how to do this. So apparently what happens is you get card packs now and with card packs... Uh, you get the creatures, you get dinosaurs, but because this is not Jurassic World the game, or at least last time I checked it wasn't, uh, if you get a multiple of the same dino, so if you got the, because you, you can only have one, you can only have one of that dino, you can't have like Jurassic World the game, you can't have 12 of them, uh, then it is exchanged for bucks, I think. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a free, oh my god, it's the same animation and everything, oh, okay. So I'm guessing we're going to get coin, food, and all that jazz. Um, oh, yay! Of course, I forgot about the splitting of the uh, resources. So we have herb and meat. So crops, 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 and fangs! Actually, that's pretty good. Unlimited offer, half price on a Jurassic Park. Well, would you believe that's precisely what we're going to do? And because it always minimizes me out, we have to do it like this. So... I'm, I mean, I've got all the creatures, right? This is something you've actually paid money for. You should not pay money and then get a creature you've already got. It should be like, okay, you can pay 20 bucks for a new creature. Um, I have no idea. I don't know if the previous creatures are even... I think they were taken out, apparently, from sources I've heard. So, um, uh, eucalyptus is now not something you can buy. It's in one of these packs. So, we're about to find out. Uh, 8,000 crops. 80 fangs, 80 fangs, and Amargosaurus. So we actually already have Amargosaur. Um, so that is switched out for 125 bucks. Try the premium pack. What do you mean try the premium pack? I just bloody opened the pre- So, to get the new creatures, oh, sorry, I actually turned off the volume. To get the new creatures, you have to buy packs. Hold on. Is that true? Or can you just buy it outright? Let's have a look. It should be at the end. No! So to get Utahraptor, you have to spend real money. No joke. And every time you get a free pack, I'm guessing you get half price. But the only way to do that is to wait eight hours. And then you might get a half price. So really, I'm guessing what you get with the Jurassic Park pack, the Aquatic Park pack, and the Glacier Park pack is a limited creature. And it can be any of the limited creatures. I th I'm i guessing. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, Amargosaur was something that, at a certain level, you can buy with books. It's not like a limited where you have to win it in tournaments or anything like that. So maybe they're not even in this. So I'm going to continue to do this. So in total we spent we spent a fair amount of uh, of money. Real real money. I am not joking. 
So 21,000 coins. Nobody cares about that. 80 fangs. Oh, Giganotosaurus! Oh, okay, that's cool, right? That's a tournament creature. So you do actually have the chance to win all the limited creatures. Although I'm gonna have to switch that. And only 125 bucks for it. Are you freaking serious? Okay, well, let's keep on going. Right, give me it. 8,080. Ah, oh, come on! All of them are the same as well? Ooh, this is what I have to do. This, this is what I have to do. I'm waiting for Jurassic World to bloody release an update. And so far, I have not seen a single book card. They're all, oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. Oh, we got it! We got Uteraptor, awesome! Okay, well, we got one. There is only one now left missing. That is the Dreadnoughtosaurus, so we're gonna keep on buying them. Because this is what, I wanna show you. If you're, if you wanna spend real money on this, this is what you have to do. You have to spend at least this much to get it. Like, this is how much it took me to get it, so maybe it'll take you even more, or a tiny bit less. Ah, la, 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 la. Yes, 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 you take all my money. Oh, there it is. Now, this one actually costs like 18 quid. And I'm only getting 125 bucks. God damn it. I'm half tempted to make single episodes just showcasing these creatures, like individually, because there's about six of them. So that would be six videos. Um, I mean, oh, we could just do three. I think we could just do three. So I'm gonna keep on buying these packs until I get the Bloomin' Dreadnoughtosaurus. Oh my god, apparently the level cap's been moved as well, so now you can get level 105. Good luck getting it, and there's no real want to get it either. Well, I gotta admit, we did get one. That's way better than what I thought it could be. I thought I'd spend like 2,000 pound and only get one. So this looks promising. Ah, Sukamimus. The worst of the worsties. Yeah, yeah. Yes, come on. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Oh! I don't even know what to say. I'm literally doing this because I want to see the new creatures. I want to see if it's worth it because they probably aren't. It's not worth it already. Um, this should not be the case. If you're gonna buy, spend money on it, on something, you should get it instantly. Like, you're just spending money for what? Like, the free, da maybe in the free packs you have a chance of getting it, but very much slimmer. This one you actually spend real money for and you should get the creature. I don't know, I feel like before when they introduced eucalyptus and stuff, they were like, okay, you can get the new creatures if you pay for it. But then they were like, wait, no, that's way too easy. How about you pay the money and have a chance of getting the new creature? And that's what this is. It's even worse. Yes. Oh, another Carnotaurus? Th okay, that should not be the case. If I've got it once, I should not get it again. Oh, that's Sukumimus, isn't it? I'm gonna kill this game. DNA already discovered. Take this instead. 125 bucks is a lousy prize. Especially when you think some of these creatures cost like 600 bucks. And especially if they're tournament creatures. That's ridiculous. This is shameful. When did microtransactions have to be in a game? When was that the new norm? Oh, for crying out loud. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't know, I keep buying them. I don't know, I'm not gonna get them. I, I, uh, oh, I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like I could buy another 20 and spend, what, 200 pound and not get it. This is ridiculous. I've got to set myself a limit because there is no point to this. Really, another Carnotaurus. I just got one. I just got one. You know, you know what it was? I was about to enter this and be like, you know what? No, that's fine. Lud Everyone was hating on Ludia. And I was, I was going to be here. I was going to step up to the mark and say, you know what, guys? Maybe, maybe it's good. You know, we, we, we put them down for so much 
of the things they do when it's always such a money grabbing little piece of crap. And I thought this time, you know what, maybe they're gonna do something cool. Maybe you buy it and I'll only have to spend 40 bucks. Maybe that's the case. I'll only have to spend 40 bucks and I've got the two new creatures. And I will say it's bad and you should not have to spend money on these things. They should be bucks. But, fair dues. But this is ridiculous. This has taken it one step further. I don't even know what to say. I really don't. For any normal person. Okay, right. This is obviously for not what you're supposed to do in the game. You're not supposed to buy all the packs instantly because you will waste a fortune. What you're supposed to do is just log in every eight hours, get the free pack, and if you want, then buy it half price. Or don't do that at all and just hopefully get it for free. I think the, probably the prizes are a lot worse and you will maybe not even get it. Um, but this is ridiculous. Oh, wow. Yay. Oh, my God. You know what it was, right? I would have been better if I just started a Let's Play. And it was like, oh, yeah, let's buy loads of packs and get all these creatures. That would be a better situation to be in rather than to have played the game for over a year and to then decide to do this. Because this is not worth it. I don't have anything to spend my bucks on. What, speeding up the creature? That's going to take nothing. Ah, uh, oh no. No. A duplicate Uteraptor. You freaking serious. Yes. Yes. Ah! Tournament start. I do not care. I really do not care. I really don't care. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Again? Ah! Oh yay, books! What the hell can I use books for? Ah, oh, no Zootoceratops! Yay! Again, only 125. You gotta think positive. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. It's gonna be here. Oh, it was! Oh, oh, right. Okay, thank God, because I was, I was, I was, guys, I was mad. I couldn't do no more. I was gonna do it. I was gonna kill myself. But we did it. Oh, thank Christ. Go away. Thank you. Oh, right. Let's enlarge this bad boy. Okay, right, well, finally we got it done. Let's place you. And uh, let's place you. And let's. Oh, wow, they are big. Right, guys, let's do this. Oh, God. You know what it is? Let's like, try to spice it up by adding the Jurassic World, the game, dinosaurs, and make all zip zap zip. It looks so good, but it, it still looks exactly the same as it did. Right, let's hatch you. Let's, uh, oh wait, we ha we can't hatch you, we just placed you. Oh, oh, the cruel irony is that it only costs two bucks to speed up. Fantastic. Okay, let's do Dreadnoughtosaurus first. Ah, there you go. Dreadnoughtosaurus roughly translates to fear nothing. Referring to its awesome size as a different, as a diff, oh, deterrent for predators. Ah, it looks quite nice. And would you believe... The Brachiosaur animation has transferred over to something, and it- oh, can we- Just listen to the little baby Brachiosaur noise. It's so cute! Sorry, I didn't mean to click on that. Ready? No. Right, so we don't know if it's- a, it's gotta be. It's gotta be a legendary, right? A gold? Yeah, I thought so. It is battle ready. Right, so you're level 10. Uh, 2,000 health, three, two, sorry, 2,300 health, 750, that's a lot, oh wow, I like the model, it's very sleek, nice, sort of stretch, but I can live with it, and we're gonna actually have a good raptor animation in like one of the legendaries, use your raptor's name for state it was discovered in, 
1974. There should be a comma there, guys. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> no, was it? I thought it was discovered in Brazil. And would you believe it actually takes the raptor animation but loses the other two? So it's animate. Look at it. It's actually playing with the other raptors there, but they're invisible. So that would be pretty cool to see what its animations like. How much is it worth to sell? Are you sure you want to sell Youth Raptor for nothing? Are you serious? Most creatures, most creatures, even freaking Dilophosaurus, you can sell for three hundred. Sell Youth to Raptor for nothing. I spent. Oh, and it's frozen in place now. Oh, fantastic. So I spent what? Well, I don't even want to know how many packs. I'll put up how much I actually spent on the whole thing now. And I can sell it for nothing and probably never get it back. Um, fantastic. Well, anyway, let's feed it. And see how good it is. I was going to say, all this time I've wanted dinosaurs that were, you know, limited. That were rares, uh, super rare. Well, you know, bronzes, silvers. And now, I was going to say, if these were blooming silvers or freaking bronzes i would be disappointed so this one has it has what 600 less health but only 50 extra damage yeah yeah so so far uterapt is sort of looking the best uh we don't know what his weaknesses are but hey let's go ahead and evolve the uterapt is the largest of the dromosauria family and likely contributed a lot of the size in Dr. Wu's Velociraptors today. Well, yeah, damn skippy. So, um, yeah, I tell you what, how about we just do all Euthoraptor and then all uh, Dreadnoughtosaurus. Oh! Oh, that's badass! Okay, that looks cool. I was like, what? I mean, we're only level 20 now, so what could they do with this? So, it has. 3,465 health, which is going to give it a grand total of 6,930 health. That's almost... Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot for a carnivore, and its damage will be what? 3,210! I think that might even rival the damn T-Rex. And I think this model looks great the way it is. I kind of don't want to evolve it anymore. I mean, we're level 20, we've got like sort of se like secondary colours, we haven't really got them yet, we've got partial colours, and then the next one, the hue and saturation I feel is going to go through the roof. I really don't want it to. If this thing ends up looking like a peacock, I'm going to be sorely disappointed, because it looks so cool now. But hey, let's just evolve. Hey, do you guys remember when you first evolved Triceratops? And the DNA bar went all the way to the middle the first time. And then after that, it never did that again. Ah, uh, the good old days. Screw you, I got plenty of books. Yeah! Yeah, no, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. And there we go. The 9-inch curved claw of the Euraptor's foot was used to tear open the soft underbelly of its prey. Right, okay, we're gonna get its actual color now. And then the last one is just a highlight, if I remember right. Okay, its colors look great. I don't- I mean, I didn't expect it to be that color anyway, and it really surprised me. So maybe it could be a better color. Uh, let's go for yellow. I could imagine a yellow and brown. That might- like a bumblebee, that might look quite nice. Oh, yeah, orange! Orange is close to yellow. Yeah, I could see this working. Yeah, that's quite nice. Unless we go for the proper orange, black, brown colors of the Velociraptors in um, the Lost World. The Lost World Jurassic Park? Possibly. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Right, let's feed you and get you nice and big. And there you go. 5,198 health and 2,412 health attack. Yep, we're looking on point. Let's evolve it one last time. And the final is... Da -da -da -da! The final factor we get is research strongly points towards... Towards? 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 Why am I saying towards? I'm stuck on two. <laughs> the research strongly points to hatchlings and juveniles having plumage. 
into adulthood and possibly on what what uh, beyond the grave okay well i mean we saw this in the colors i can't really imagine it changing much oh it looks badass we're badass we're badass it looks like it's covered in the blood of its victims oh yeah okay now that is probably the best looking dinosaur ever in the Jurassic Park Builder Land Park. I gotta admit, that looks pretty good. Not worth the asking price at all, and if you can get it for free, definitely get it for free. Uh, but now it's Dreadnoughtosaurus' turn, so let's give you a shot. Oh, that was quite flawless, actually. Dreadnoughtosaurus belongs to a group of dinosaurs called Titanosaurs, which range in size, form that of a cow. What? Which range in size? Oh, right. Wait, they've, they've made a spelling mistake. Which range in size? It should be from that of a cow. Not form all the, that of a cow. God damn it, Looney, come on! Like, I know you're, I mean, you're trying to do a push with this game, but at least spell check. From, sorry, form that of a cow, all the way up to a sperm whale. Well, great. Um, so we, we saw a vast change in the Uteraptor. Um, and not much of a change in this little guy. I will say, it's got an underbelly now. It actually has like an undertone as well as like its pattern. So that's quite nice. So it has 4,655 health, which means its total max will be 9,310. 9,310, almost 10,000. That's surely gonna be the best dinosaur for health in this game so far. And for damage, it's gonna have 3,008. So it is pretty damn good. It's impressive. Um, I will say the textures do look a bit stretched, like they just took the Brachiosaur body and then just stretched out the vertices to encumber the the model. Like they, like the leg, this leg is too short. This bit of leg is way too long. Maybe, actually, maybe they got it right. Maybe that's its anatomy. Maybe it does look like that. But it looks a bit funny. I've got to admit. You, like, up here, it is the Brachiosaur head. They've just taken off the top bit, seamed that up, and then stretched the mouth out. Like, you can actually, it looks more stretched. You can see here, like, the textures are very, sort of, elongated. So... I don't know. I feel like they did a quick job on this one. They took what they had with the Brachiosaur and then just stretched out certain parts of it. Like, on the neck, like where the neck joins to the head, it's like really detailed here. Really detailed. But then here, it's like, ah, oh, like this and this would have been what, like a polygonal square or something like that. Just one go round, one cycle, one circle of uh, split. And they've just elongated that and then fit the uh, the frame to it. Well, I mean, eh, what'd you expect? Let's just blub and evolve it. I tell you what, though. This better be it. They, be they better not add more creatures in that you have to get with the card packs. Because if they do that, and they're, like, they expect me to spend, what, another 200 odd quid on two more creatures, I'm going to make a video saying, screw it. No, I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. This is absolutely not worth it. I can't... I Not that I don't enjoy the game, because I have done. That's why I've done it for so long. But I will make just a video saying, guys, I can't do this anymore because I don't agree with the ethics of it at all. I don't agree with it. Like, because it's that's ridiculous. Anyway, Dreadnoughtosaurus is known from two partial skeletons found in Argentina. Dating back to the Upper Cretaceous. Now, this is why I thought when they found it, they were like, oh, new huge sauropod found in Argentina. And I was like, you mean Argentinosaurus? I read the article. It was like, oh, no, it, it, it's bigger than Argentinosaurus. They're calling it now Dreadnoughtosaurus. And then I was thinking, so let me get this straight. You found another sauropod in the same place that Argentinosaurus was, and it just so happens to be bigger than Argentinosaurus? What are the chances? And also, what are the chances that it is just an adult Argentinosaurus? Ever thought about that? No. 
Um, have you found other bones of other specimens, all bigger than Argentinosaurus? No, you haven't. You've just found one big theme or whatever of this certain, uh, like, Dreadnoughtosaurus that is bigger than Argentinosaurus, and therefore class it as a different dinosaur. It could just be a bigger one. Like, they very rarely find complete bones. I don't know. I, I might be wrong. I haven't actually researched into it. I'm just guessing this is what happened. And the, the paleontologist that found it was like, oh, it's bigger. Yes. Um, it's definitely different. It's not an adult. It Don't be stupid. It's a new dinosaur. It's Dreadnoughtosaurus. And that's what I feel has happened. So let's speed this bad boy up. Oh, he's spiny. Oh, that's cute. That is a cute color. I like it. I do. I like this color. Um, I'm quite interested to see what they do with it. Like, they went through a phase of every time the uh, Final Evolution came, they would just add a highlight uh, to the pattern. So in this case, there would just be like a cyan pattern around its spots, and that would be it. That would, that would be the only change. Um, but recently, with the new creatures that they put in, they have sort of changed it. Um, so, I don't even know what this could be. There's only one way to find out, though. But this is the most boring part. I just want to know how much coin it's going to take. And I will throw it at it. I don't want to do sit through it failing over and over and over. Just say, okay, it'll cost this much to speed up. And I would love that. There is much controversy about the Dreadnoughtosaurus, how much it would typically weigh. Some estimate it having it weigh in at 30 tons, while others... Double that! Do they? 60 tons. Jesus, that's um, that's quite heavy. So let's go ahead and... Oh, 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 never mind. Never mind. They killed it. They killed it. This is the typical case of going absolutely overkill with the freaking hue and saturation. Yes, again, they did put the highlight on the creature. And it is the, you, now you can see the pixel stretch. You can see every, like, the third, the plumbing polygons itself have been stretched to a horrible state. Like, between the neck joint and the upper, upper leg joint you see here where the, um, shoulder joint is, you can see a clear seam. And there is no way of them fixing that because they've stretched one polygon just too much. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Okay, well, 9,078 health and 2,930. Oh, sorry, I was going to say we're not level 40. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, now we've fully five starter. Is it five or four? Four star. Well, I've got to say, out of these two, I would definitely rather have the Aetheraptor. It has 200 extra attack. Yep, this one has what? How much? Two. 2,000, no? Yeah, 2,400 extra health than uh, Euthoraptor. But Euthoraptor does have 200 extra attack. So, um, I mean, with the special, it's going to add an extra half on top, actually. So probably Dreadnoughtosaurus is better. But um, I don't know. I prefer, uh, I prefer Euthoraptor just because of its colorings. And we're going to quickly have a look. We're going to quickly have a look to see if they've added anything. Um, if it's a new decoration, nope. How about a new building? Nope. So what the hell, may I ask, is the point in increasing the level limit? So you can be 105. What's the point? No new buildings, so you don't get any new missions to do with them. No decorations to make maybe you get more coin from creatures or nothing. They basically just put the card pack in to go, hey guys, uh, give us money. And you may, and that that's the only reason. Give us money. Um, oh yeah, hackers? Hackers, um, screw actually, you know, paying for it and supporting us. How about you just hack the game and get these dinosaurs for free? Because they look really cool. We've worked hard on them. And you can get them free by hacking. What the hell, Ludia? You made me, somebody who actually, like, has to pay bills by, yeah, I do play games and what have you, but, you know, someone who's actually working for a living, have to pay money to make a video on your content. 
which in turn makes you money because people then buy the card packs. See, it's like, oh, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. That, in a sentence, sums it up. I've got to pay money to show you the creatures for Ludia in turn to make money. I'm not one to slander them off. I don't do that. I see loads of other YouTubers saying, fuck Ludia, fuck you, what the fuck is this rubbish? Um, and yeah, sorry, I have sworn. I have sworn. But this is worth it. This is worthy of swearing. I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. Uh, I see I see loads of them. They're, like, even on the Bloomin' community, you go on Facebook pages every time Ludia puts up a new... Um, oh, you have to do this, but in order to do that, you have to play every day. Or you have to buy a card pack. Or, like, and just little things like that slowly discredit them. I mean, the Aquatic Park update for Jurassic World is gonna be amazing. Don't get me wrong, and that is gonna boost morale for the fans. But, really, this? This! This was- th Right, guys, if you're watching this before the freaking Aquatic Update's out, this is the kick in the nads that they just sneakily shh hushed out before the big, oh, look at us, we're amazing, look at the Aquatic Park update. And I don't- I feel wrong. I feel bad about slandering them off. I really do, because I support them, and I like what they do, I love their games, but I've got to be honest, I, I do, I, I've i never forced myself into pretending to do fake commentary or anything like that, I do, you know, what you see is what you get, and this is not good, <laughs> not good at all, so I, I mean, yeah, I guess we, there's nothing else to do, we've, uh, we've got to go to the tournament, hey ho, let's go. You know what? Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe, like, these are gonna be tournament creatures that you get DNA. Possibly. Maybe that's why they're, I, like, if you want them now, you can buy them. And people will say to me, Look, James, nobody said you had to spend this money to get them. You can play the game the way it's meant to be played. But, that's... Yeah, you're right. I've got nothing to say. You are completely right. That is how you're supposed to play it. But... That's not the way I want to play it! And there- Oh wow, Dreadnoughtosaurus! All the way up there. Oh, its picture looks awesome! Uh, so does Eutheraptor's, by the way. Um, I think that'll do. I think Eutheraptor could do it by itself. I don't even know why I'm putting in Carcharodontosaurus. Oh look! Eucalyptus is in here! Oh, that's awesome! Like, I've never fought one because, like, after- It was never updated to be in the tournament code. Because yes, these are bots, and it was like, nobody's actually going to spend money on our creatures. So they didn't put it in. But now they figured, after a certain amount of time, yeah, it's about okay. So I don't know, we're not going to- Actually, we can find out our creatures' weaknesses, if they do it. Got it, Eutheraptor! Oh my god, is it going to be a two-hit kill? Oh, it might be. So I'm getting excited. I'm on me bed! I mean, be bad. Yeah. Yeah, I record these the really old way. Like, I recorded when I was, um, when I first started. So, it's kind of really, it's, it is very nostalgic. Oh, it's Swipe. Swipe is his weakness. Okay, then. Like, swipe is your Taraptor's weakness. We got that. So, yeah, it's really nostalgic for me to play, uh, to play this game. And I love it. It was just a shame that it, it felt like for a long time it was, the game was dead. Okay. We're in Bloomin' Bronze League. They they shouldn't do this to me. Do not know who I am. Oh! Oh, Eutheraptor's everywhere! Oh yeah, it's dead in one hit. I think it's a charge. It is Ankylosaur. I know that Ankylosaur's weakness is charge, so... If it shares the same weakness... Which it does. There you go. And I never, like, they updated Velociraptor's victory. So he has, like, a different run animation. He has different calls. And that's really cool because I've never got to see, I've never won with either Velociraptor, Trudon, or Compi because they're all really bad. Um, so we are now going to use uh, either Dreadnought. We're going to use Dreadnoughtosaurus here. But we need something else just to back it up, just in case. Um... Right, well, um, I just want to let you in on something here, guys. 
So I recorded about a good long while of this, okay? Let's say I recorded all of it. So it's an hour, maybe two, two and a bit hours, yeah, okay. My mic decided to cut off. So we, you are now listening to my audio over the top while watching this footage. Uh, oh my god, I cannot begin to tell you what happens. Uh, it's to do with the packs, it's to do with the aquatic, it's to do with the glacier. And of course that will be covered in the upcoming videos as well. I will have to do a voiceover like this with them. And I tell you what, it's kind of crazy. But we're going to continue with the uh, Jurassic Park one. So, um, yeah, Eucalyptus doesn't really stand much of a chance here. Um... It's actually kind of... Your Tyrannosaurus is almost going to take it out before uh, Dreadnoughtosaurus even gets a chance to come in. So, oh! Well, never mind. Your Tyrannosaurus does die. But, um, pretty much just one King Papum and it's dead. And I gotta say, uh, Dreadnoughtosaurus's um, textures in the actual game itself don't look too bad. Um, like, the high poly model, or at least the high textured model, is a lot better than um, than the one that is in the park, the low low resolution model. So this time we're going to use a both of them. Um, let's use the Raptor and Dreadnoughtosaurus. And probably yeah, put Dreadnoughtosaurus in first. I'm imagining I do, which I do, would you believe? Uh, because Youth Raptor is um is more of a sweeper. And I can already see that we're going to win. Not that I already know. <laughs> But yeah, that team doesn't really stand a chance. And I, I remember at this point I was saying, Oh, I got really excited because it was a full team of herbivores. I was like, yes, I got Eutheraptor. But then I realized that I'm playing Jurassic Park Builder and not Jurassic World, the game, dear. Uh, whereas I've still won because Eutheraptor's out second and he's a sweeper and Dreadnoughtosaurus is out first. Uh, and I don't know whether I said it or not, but I realized that Shunosaurus is also um, one of the dinosaurs that shares the Brachiosaur animation set. And I completely forgot about that. Um, so Dreadnoughtosaurus isn't the only one to share the uh, the Brachio Brachiosaur animation set. And um, yeah, I, I honestly don't know what to say about this. Um, it's pretty annoying. This whole, the whole update as, as a general is just sucky. Um, no, I'll get to it in a lot <laughs> oh I'll get to it oh, Jesus Christ but anyway we take out our Margasaurus and again comes Pachyrhinosaurus which is um, was confirmed in the code of Jurassic World the game uh, which is maybe even one of the new creatures that's coming up in the update um, the Jurassic World the game update did say ah oh, whap with the tail it did say that there was going to be two new dinosaurs in the uh, normal park, so that's pretty cool. They could be a uh, Pachyrhinosaurus and they could also be a Lumbia, which I think is the Hadrosaur. Um, so yeah, Eutheraptor comes in. I would definitely say, uh, I would definitely say, definitely get the Eutheraptor, but at the moment you have no choice. I have come to realize that you'll probably have a chance to win them in the DNA tournament. I'm sure that's where they'll come in. Um, I'd imagine, yeah, I can I can't imagine that it is just the premium packs, and that's the only way to get them, because that is kind of stupid. Um, that that would be the only way you could get them. Uh, yeah, I, I would imagine that they would put some... If they don't put in a tournament, or some way to win the creature, then there's no way you're going to get this, because it's not worth your money. It really isn't. Um, and the Raptor almost takes out Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus got a tiny bit. Left in. I uh, might as well go for the block. I'm pretty sure we could survive a special, but just in case. Gotta go with the safety blocks. So, yeah, I literally, I just let this uh, copy over to an external hard drive. And then I was like, yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to get a sandwich. I'm going to try to relax. And, because uh, the thing is, when you record and you realize you've just lost something. It, it's the worst feeling in the world, especially this. Like, I've spent so much money on this, ridiculous amounts of money, which I'll never see back again. And I will only use these creatures once. And that's now. <laughs> so Eutheraptor does a little dance, 
Uh, it's kind of funny listening to the calls because they've, they've just taken loads of different raptor calls and then just faded them out. So the raptor call isn't over by the time that they go. So it's like, Bleh! Bleh! and then they just like disappear. It's really weird. But anyway, that's going to have to wrap up this event. I am God darn sure I'm not going to do this again. If another event like this does come out, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to make a video saying I'm out. I can't do this anymore. Not doing it anymore. I'm done. Uh, so guys, I want you to tell me. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Is it worth it? Ha is this is this insanely bad? And now that you've seen the creatures maxed out, what's your opinions on it? And of course, leave a like, please. I've spent lots of money. God damn it! I don't know why I did it. I just want to show you guys. I want to bring it to you because you guys deserve it. Um, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye.